You know, I was mentally prepared to do uh, a rant about most of these awards, uh, a really huge rant, but uh, a lot of it wasn't really that bad, uh, better than last year's. So uh, before I get started, I want to um, just talk about an honorable mention. Tag Team of the Year goes to the Usos, and rightfully so. I mean, a lot of people say they were boring, but... I thought they had really good matches. Uh, it's not all about story, people. Without matches, it's not wrestling. Uh, so uh, let's get started. Uh, this, the first one is this is awesome moment presented by the Miz. Uh, nominees are Occupy Raw, which was the Yes Movement, uh, Billionaire, Billion Dollar Joe Bird, Stephanie McMahon going to jail. Yeah. Uh, Goodbye Authority, which was um, the authority uh, uh, no longer being in power. And the greatest of all time, which... The all-time greatest, which was Stone Cold, The Rock, and Hulk Hogan being in the same ring together. And the winner is uh, Goodbye Authority. Quite frankly, I thought Occupy Raw probably should have won, but Goodbye Authority wins simply because... Uh, Sting was in the clip uh, of that, uh, was in the highlight reel of that uh, moment. So uh, it wins by default. Uh, I mean, maybe people voted, but I don't know. Uh, anyways, a Return of the Year by, presented by John Laurinaitis. Hulk, the nominees are Hulk Hogan, Batista, The Rock, and Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior wins. Uh, may he rest in peace. Um, because he, he deserved this. He really did deserve this. Because this is the last great thing that he will ever receive from WWE. Seeing as he is no longer with us. So, you know, since he is no longer associated with the... Since he can no longer be associated with associated with WWE, this it can stand as the last great thing that he will ever receive. God rest his soul. OMG moment, uh, I think was presented, yeah, presented by Set Santino Morella. Uh, he made a joke about, you know, going into the men's locker room and then the, men, the women's locker room and all this. And anyways, uh, nominees are Seth Sells Out. Bella Betrayal, the whole world in his hands, the streak ends. First of all, Seth uh, selling out is only shocking just because it happened at a time where the Shield had the upper hand. You can't sell someone out. You can't just sell someone out when you're on a winning streak. That just doesn't make any sense. Bella Betrayal was not that shocking. Whole world in his hands, kind of shocking, but still. But the Shriek ending, it won because it deserved to win. The most shocking moment of all time. Of all time. And I was speechless when I first saw this. Like, I was watching the match and I was, I didn't know what to say. I was like, what is going on? Everybody his jaws dropped at that. You know, Diva of the Year presented by Jerry Lawler. Uh, the nominees are Brie Bella, Paige, AJ Lee, and Nikki Bella. And both Bella twins being on here doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I can almost understand why Brie Bella's on here just because of her riding the coattails of her uh, husband. But Nikki, she only really started getting noticed in the middle of the year when she betrayed her sister. And AJ Lee wins, and a lot of people, you know, I see a lot of people on Twitter getting pissed just because they want a page to win, but don't get that mad. Because AJ was only getting what she deserved last year. She got screwed over by the Bellas last year, and <laughs> the crowd let the Bellas know it uh, that year, too. So, AJ Lee wins. Hopefully, 
Naomi can get a chance to be nominated next year. If there is a Slammys next year, I don't know. But hopefully she can get a chance to be nominated next year, you know, as a breakout diva. But anyways, uh, LOL moment of the year, uh, presented by Adam Rose, Mr. T, Loves His Mama, WLC, Ms. Dow, and Princess Pudding. Ms. Dow wins. I think it should have been WLC, because, come on, why do people like this guy? He has become a joke since the whole gimmick infringement thing. And now as Miz is stunt double doing every single thing that the Miz does, even taking bumps that the Miz takes, that's bullshit. But anyways, you know, he wins. You know, like, oh, yeah. And Miz taking credit for it just proves that he's in a bad spot. Uh, match of the year presented by Ricky Steamboat. The triple threat match between... Uh, Brian Orton Batiste and Batista, Cena vs. Wyatt, Last Man Standing, Show vs. Evolution, and Team Ziggler vs. Team Authority. I'm calling it Team Ziggler because Team Cena is way too... Team Cena is outplayed. It's just too... It's it's over... It's overrated. So Team Ziggler. Uh, simply because, you know, Ziggler lasted longer than any of them. And uh, Team Ziggler versus Team Authority wins. I thought some of the nominees on here were kind of questionable, just because uh, you have um, you have Brian on here, which you know this is, wasn't even his best match of the year. Cena versus White, not really that good. Shield versus Evolution, it should have been Shield versus the Wyatts. Team Ziggler versus Team Authority. The only reason why they wanted this on there is because of Sting. Uh, once again, because of Stain. So, uh, the extreme moment of the year presented by RVD. A lot of, once again, questionable ones. Uh, Lesnar suplexing Cena 16 times. Not that extreme. Kane uh, tombstoning Brian onto the uh, steps and table. Kind of. Uh, Jericho diving on to Bray Wyatt. Off the steel cage, not really. Uh, that extreme cinder block, curb stomp. The most extreme one on this list, and it loses to Jericho diving off the steel cage. Which has been done so many times before that. And has been done better. And you give it to Jericho, which he doesn't even show up. Three people don't show up for their own awards. Just stupid. Uh, and finally, the Superstar of the Year, presented by Booker T. Lesnar, Ambrose, Brian, Reigns, Wyatt, Cena, and Rollins. And I thought it was going to be Cena, but it ended up being Reigns, which everyone thinks, everyone is accusing this guy of being the uh, Samoan Cena, which he's not. He's actually kind of better than Cena. Uh, Brian probably should have won, but good for Reigns. So, um, that's it for me. I am Mike Wayne, a.k.a. Rebel 180. So long for now.